हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू आईएफएस तो आज हमारे साथ यहाँ पर ज्वाइन हुए गणेश जो केरला से बिलोंग करते हैं और उन्होंने अभी का जो है सीएसआर नेट जून 2025 का एग्जाम क्वालिफाई किया है सो गणेश वेलकम टू द आईएफएस प्लेटफॉर्म थैंक यू सर गुड आफ्टरनून तो आप थोड़ा सा बताएंगे व्यूवर्स को और स्टूडेंट्स को कि आपने कितने रैंक से और कितने मार्क्स से एग्जाम क्वालिफाई किया है तो कैसे लगा कल आपको स्कोर देखने के बाद आप एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे Yeah, like after the after the score is uh, scorecard is published, like I was just con like I confirmed it because that uh, the percentage we have we know right that ninety nine point like uh, percentage is there from okay. that we can uh, calculate our rank and all. Okay. That that too this time like the score like uh, the exam was a bit tough, like a moderate only. So I was confirmed like uh, I confirmed that I this time I will get the. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay. So, from where did you do your masters and your subject, the specialization subject? Yeah, I did my uh, uh, masters from Kerala, like Mahatma Gandhi University. Okay. Uh, specialization is in organic. Okay. But, uh, yeah. And, okay. Uh, so last year, like uh, last August, I completed my uh, MSc. Okay. And I start, start my preparation in IFAS. Okay. And uh, until February, I was there with IFAS. And uh, I qualified net in that February exam, and after that uh, I joined uh, as a project associate in Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Okay, okay. So I currently now I'm working in Indian Institute of Science, so as oh. project associate. Oh, okay, okay. So you're connected with IFS through uh, YouTube or any batch life? Like a uh, batch, I was there in the batch last year. Okay. From uh, August to February, and after that I was uh, like preparing it from the YouTube only. I okay, have like, okay. everything I have. Just brushing up, and I was I written the exam. I have written the exam. Okay, okay. So tell us about your preparation journey. That you qualified first net in December only. So tell uh -huh. us something about that. Okay, like the preparation is just like in five months. Um, for initial three months, we are like I concentrate on the syllabus, not the complete syllabus. Okay. And we have to uh, like uh, determine our like we have to be we have to we have to know our strength. So my strength is organic, organic okay. and inorganic. I am like it, it is manageable for me. Okay. So I may like I know my strength. I started with organic. I went into went into the depth of the organic and studied the like more weightage topics. We have to consider. We have to focus on more weightage topics. Yes. So I completed this uh, more weightage to high weightage topics. Okay. And after that, like in three months or two months, this high weightage topics will be done. So for organic, it is reaction mechanism, organic reaction mechanism, reagents. And uh, like photo, uh, photochemistry, very yeah. like, like ever like that. Okay, so stereochemistry. This is okay. this is the basic thing. And for uh, inorganic coordination, bio inorganic, yes. organometallics, and uh, that uh, spectroscopy. Spectroscopy like, and all, yeah. So F block everything. So in that three months, we have to be thorough with our syllabus. Not okay. syllabus, like not entire syllabus. So after that, like uh, we have to revise it frequently. And after re revising. Like uh, in continuous, in weekly basis, we have to do that DP, DPP questions, Sunday questions, and uh, after like we are, like and uh, after that we have to focus on the topic based questions also. And uh, we, when we are ready to go with that, uh, like we are when we are like we know everything about this uh, subject. We, are, we, we know uh, when we are uh, when we know the concept, we can move on to the mock test. Okay. So this is the basic thing. So I have um, um, like. Uh, I completed the syllabus, mock test, like like uh, before mock test, uh, DPPs, Sunday test, everything I have done. Then I moved to the mock test. So mock test, like uh, within like within a week, we have to do two three mock tests. Okay. Uh, within within between mock tests, we have to do we we have to analyze it also. So for that two two days for analysis and one one day for mock test. This is the basic thing I have done. So. Like from the mistakes, we have to analyze what yes. we are doing, what what is the results coming, and uh, in that time itself, I was like um, I got some 
good marks in mock test also but and, and after december exam yeah. like i didn't prepare much i like mock test i have done that time only after the december exam i like i was uh, working right yeah. so i just revised my notes everything like i first i have the notes i have so i have revised it i have revised the questions everything so i have written this time again so this is the okay 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 so you said your major focus was on organic and inorganic so you didn't touch any topic from physical chemistry or you did uh, some of the topics like uh, physical i have just like quantum mechanics i have studied okay. solid state i have studied and uh, kinetics and uh, thermodynamics i think uh, and electrochemistry but majority of my questions and uh, attempts was was from organic inorganic because i was uh, uh, like my concepts are good in organic and inorganic and okay. i have written like three or four questions from physical that's the only uh, thing i have done so so i rectified my mistake from the previous attempt my pre in my previous attempt my like i uh, i answered some uh, physical chemistry questions yes. that okay. got uh, backfired okay, so, okay. and also that part day was a villain at oh, that okay, time okay, okay. so at that time i have written seven questions from part day four of them are got wrong so in this time i i have written only three or four four of them are correct that is the main thing happened so i rectified my mistake from the my previous attempt okay okay or and did you touch any reference books or you just relied on your notes class notes only like um, at that time i uh, you know uh, for organic i covered that nance uh, clayton and those and uh, these these books i have covered they are okay. like a pre reference textbook I, uh, like i read it i solved the problems and for our inor inorganic also atkins and i have done organometallics for that uh, what is that carian sandberg everything not carian sandberg uh, that uh, what is it um um crap tree okay, crap tree crap tree yeah from the end of yeah so that book i like i uh, i was reading that book okay, okay. Yeah. okay and what about question solving like you might have solved all previous year question papers or any mock test you followed ha uh, like the previous year book i have purchased from uh, ifas mm -hmm. previous like i and uh, i solved it completely okay. from 2004 14 or 15 i completely covered every questions and after that mock test and uh, whatever questions are from sunday test dpp everything i have like if i am getting any mistake if i am get if i am getting any wrong wrong answers i will note it i will note the answers also in my okay. note so this is the basic thing i have done and after that uh, before the exam i used to uh, cover up these uh, questions also before the exam Okay, okay. So now you might have got the cut off like one zero one is the cut off of this attempt, this exam. So after uh, giving the exam, what do you feel? So the exam level was moderate or tough, or it will be clear easily by you? Like for me, it was moderate actually. Okay. Because uh, I I was covering organic and inorganic. Yeah. So inorganic and organic is like somewhat moderate. Moderate only. only yeah. Uh, like physical, it is okay, somewhat it is tough. tough. Yeah. It is somewhat tough, and I I am not I am not at all good in physical. Okay. So if I am Yeah, so I I didn't uh, attempt it also. That is that is the main thing I have done this time to rectify my mistake. So for me it was moderate because organic and inorganic is doable. Okay, okay. So already you are working as a research associate. Ah, uh -huh, project associate. Project associate. Okay. So now you have what are your further plans? Like you have qualified now JRF then. Like um, I am also applying for abroad for PhD. Okay, abroad for PhD. Great, great. Uh -huh, In what okay. subject? Ah, in organic, organic only. Organ organic. Ah, so but I am not getting any uh, positive replies. But I am trying. If I am not like, if I am not getting it, I will try try in the uh, institute in, institutes in India. Okay. Okay. PhD. Okay. Great. Great. So now one last question I would like to ask. Uh, just imagine there is a new aspirant who is uh, just started preparing for a CSR NET exam or any competitive exam related to chemistry. So what are a few suggestions you would like to give? like the suggestion is only like the determination should be there that okay. determination and consistency consistency is the main thing mm -hmm. you are studying for 8 hours or 10 hours for one day you should continue it if anything any 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 other like um, anything is there if anything is there you should move, move it move it aside we, we should we should and uh, we should focus on our goal we should we should be should be determined consistent and um, like every day you should study 
Yeah. Or if you are if you are studying organic, you should practice every day. That is the only way. If you are studying inorganic or physical, you should brush up. You should revise every day. That is the only main thing you have to focus uh, for an for a competitive exam like this. For any competitive exam, this consistency should be important. So if you are really want it, you should be consistent. And after that, like you should know about the exam first. That is CSAR net is like this only. You have you can you have the options like. You can just write uh, 25 questions from 360 for part C. So you have to be like accurate. So this is the main thing, and um, and you should know about the your strength. Like yeah, yeah. If you put in organic, you you can focus on it more. If you are good in physical, you can focus on it. That is your choice. So if you are focusing on only two subjects, you have to hard work actually. Actually, it is bit hard work. It yeah, that was the only question I was going to ask you because the many students ask the same question. Is it possible to clear CSR net by only two subjects? Actually, it is a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. A huge difficulty is this there. Actually, now we are like this CSR is asking from entire like a physical, organic, and inorganic. Mm. They are equally asking. Yeah. So if you are studying by every three subjects, it is good for you. It is easier for you. But if you are not good in physical or organic, you can skip it. Not completely, but uh, you have to, but it's a bit difficult because you have to go in deep in, the, in that subject. You have to, like for me, I have to read the nines, characters, everything, like page by page you have to, and uh, we have to uh, solve the questions also. So the, that is a bit difficult for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this was the last question, Ganesh. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Okay, so all the best for the future. Whenever you need any help, IFS is always there. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you, thank you so much and happy learning. Okay, thank you. Sir.